Hi folks, we're going to take a look at some examples involving uh, multiplication and division of monomials. Okay, so we'll start with uh, example one here. So we've got two monomials, and remember that when there's no uh, operation expressed between two symbols, we assume that it's multiplication. Okay, so remembering that multiplication can be performed in any order, Okay, we can do any multiplication we like first. So what we do is we multiply those objects that we can actually multiply together. So in particular, we know we can multiply numbers, so that's not a problem. But we also are able to simplify the product of powers with the same base. So we're going to multiply the x squared with the x cubed, the y with the y squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so here we've got our two coefficients which we can multiply together so remember always to keep in mind the sign which comes to the left of uh, the number so here we've got negative 3 times negative 4 gives us positive 12 okay and now if we do the powers of x well we have x squared times x cubed and since we're multiplying powers with the same base we know that we can add the exponents to simplify so 2 plus 3 is 5 so x to the 5 okay now we'll take a look at the y's okay and we see here we have y alone but keep in mind that there's actually an exponent there that we don't write that's y to the 1 times y to the 2 so again multiplying powers with the same base we add the exponents we've got y cubed okay and lastly, we're multiplying the z cube, but there's no other powers of z. So there won't be any change. It's still being multiplied, but there's no simplification to be done. So where we have z cubed, and there's our final answer. Okay, uh, As is uh, usually the case, any rule we come up with for multiplication, there's a similar one uh, for division. Okay, And we can do the exact same thing when we're dividing two monomials, like in example 2. Okay, We divide all those things that we are able to divide together. So here we've got our coefficients which we can divide and then our powers with the same base. Okay, so first we'll do 10 divided by 4. Okay, so here because this would be a nice decimal if you were to divide 10 divided by 4 you'd get 2.5 so that would be perfectly acceptable or you can leave it in fraction form but you can't leave it as 10 over 4 because it's not simplified. So you know that 10 over 4 reduces 2, they're both divisible by 2, so 10 divided by 2 is 5, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 5 over 2, okay? But I would accept here 2.5, unless it specifically says write it in fraction form, okay? Now let's go ahead and do the powers of the same base. So again, x cubed divided by x, and remember this is x to the 1, and our second law of exponents tells us that we can just subtract the exponents to simplify. So this leaves us with x squared. Okay, Here we've got y to the 7 divided by y to the 7. There's two ways to consider this. You can think of it as some number, because y to the 7 is some number, divided by itself. That's always equal to 1. Okay, Or you can use exponent law, and 7 minus 7 is 0, and we know that any power to the exponent 0 is always equal to 1. Okay, So I'm going to write it down here, but we're going to talk in a second how we normally don't write this in our uh, answer. And lastly, z to the 5 divided by z squared. 5 minus 2 is 3, so z cubed. Okay. Now, as I was saying before, we normally don't write this 1 here because multiplying by 1 doesn't change anything. You could also think of it as simplifying it. If I multiply 5 over 2 times 1, I still get 5 over 2. So my final answer here would be 5 over 2, x squared, z cubed. Okay. And of course, I would also expect, accept uh, 2.5x squared z cubed. Okay, I'll do one last example and something that mixes everything in together. So we see here that we've got multiplications, divisions, and powers. Okay, now remembering that these monomials, okay, all represent numbers. So they still follow the rules of the orders of operation. So we still have to follow bed mass. So the first thing I have to take care of before I do the multiplication, say in the numerator, I have to take care of this exponent. Okay, so I'm not going to do anything with the first term because that's just being multiplied. So now I'm going to take care of the exponent. And you'll notice here that I don't go through as many steps as I would have before 
because hopefully we're getting more comfortable at solving these problems. So I'm going to distribute the exponent to every term. And remember here, this is negative 3 that's being squared, not just the 3. So negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Okay, x to the fourth squared, power of a power, we multiply the exponents, so x to the 8, and then y to the 1 squared, 1 times 2, is just 2. Okay, notice how I rewrite the whole rest of the expression, even though I'm not calculating it yet. That's what I would expect to see. Okay, so now that I've taken care of the exponents, I can now take care of the multiplication in the numerator. So again, coefficients first, negative 2 times positive 9 is negative 18. x squared times x to the 8, multiplying powers with the same base, so I add the exponents, x to the 10, and then y to the 5th times y squared, y to the 7. Again, add the exponents. Now I can perform the last operation, which is the division. And so here, do the coefficients, negative 18 divided by positive 6, negative 3, x to the 10 divided by x squared, dividing powers with the same base, I subtract the exponents. So 10 minus 2 is 8, and then here, similarly with these powers, 7 minus 2 is 5. Okay, and there you have it. This big expression with multiplications, divisions, and powers, we were able to simplify to one single nice monomial.